Ahoy there, it's me, Lamer Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. Sea of Thieves have just released a new update, so that means there's lots more stuff for us to do out on the seas, especially those that are Pirate Legends that have been waiting for what, two years to be able to go even higher than level 50? Well, now they've brought it out, so we can now grind up even higher. As well as Pirate Legends, this game's also going to attract new players to it, which means they're probably going to be taking on the Maiden Voyage. This guide is here to show you how to complete most of the commendations in the Maiden Voyage mission, including unlocking the cellar and finding the journals as you complete the Maiden Voyage mission. So, sit back, relax, and let my pirate take you through the Maiden Voyage. So when you wake up, you're greeted by this ghostly figure, the Pirate Lord. And he's going to take you through the start of your journey on the Sea of Thieves. First thing you'll need to do is grab the cutlass from the tree with a half-dead skeleton in it. Show that skeleton what for by giving it a few good strikes. Once you've done that, meet him on the beach and he'll give you a shovel and a map to dig up the rest of your kit. And once you've returned the treasure chest back to the Pirate Lord, he will then give you a pistol and various other items including a compass. And once you've done that, it's time to celebrate and do a little crab dance because now you've entered the free reign period of the Maiden Voyage. So first of all, let's hunt some journals. Now I thought I'd start off with what I find the most complex one because it also includes getting the commendation for hidden secrets. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to head up to the Magpie's wing wreck and identify the cellar, which is here. You'll need a key to get into it, and that key can be located on the other side of the magpie's wing. To do that, you have to go up through the ship. Then you'll have to cross on the downed mast. And then in this pool will be the key. Now make note that it is quite difficult to find, usually. But it usually lives over in this corner, buried in the sand. There it is. Old sailor's key. So you pick the key up. And then you head back to that cellar. Once you're at the cellar, you unlock it using the key and you will receive the commendation. You then head down into the cellar where there will be loads of money and gold waiting for you. However, as I've already done this, it's already been picked up. But more importantly, over by one of the stools, there is a journal. Go over and read it and you will be one step closer to completing this commendation. To get to the second journal, you need to head out of the cellar and up to the helm of the boat. We will find it on the railing to the right of the helm. To find the third journal, all you have to do is turn around, climb up into the crow's nest and it's there on the railing up there. To find the fourth journal, you head back down the crow's nest and straight across to where the white hammock lies. If you look to the left, there's a small collection of barrels and next to it, a journal. Once you've picked up that journal, look out the giant hole and see the bridge below. Drop down to it, try not to hurt yourself too much like I did. Then look to your right and you'll see a small ledge with a ladder on it. Jump to that ledge and read the journal there by the bushes. I use journal number 6 as an opportunity to also complete two more commendations. One involves catching a fish and the other one involves cooking food. Firstly, you'll want to dive underneath the waterfall near where you started and you'll find the journal there. Once you've read the journal, head back out of the waterfall and you can fish in this pool and pick up a fish. Select your fishing rod and throw it in. Once you've caught the fish, you will receive the commendation of Fine Catch. To receive your second commendation, a hearty meal, just turn back down the hill and cook the fish on the open fireplace near where you started. Once the fish is cooked, you will receive the commendation. 
Journal number 7 takes us back to where we dug up the treasure chest earlier for the Pirate Lord, but if you just turn to the right in the little shipwreck, you'll find the journal. While we're back on the beach, we may as well do the commendation saluting the Pirate Lord. You'll need to take some cannonballs from your already smashed up ship, and then take them back up to the Magpie's wing cannon. Please note that it's on the other side of the ship from the helm, and let go a few shots to salute the Pirate Lord. For journal number 8 you're going to want to head to this really tall island because at the top there is a base camp. If you follow the trail round to the left and just keep following it all the way up to the top. When you eventually reach the top of the mountain you'll see a journal on the floor in the base camp next to the stool. Once you've read this journal turn around and head back down the hill and find this door on the left. Pull the lever, go through the door and you'll find another camp and just to the left of the fire pit is another journal. So once you finish reading this book you then head further into the mountain, you open the door by spinning the capstan, you open this door by using the pulley system once the door's raised, you go in, immediately turn left, climb the ladder, and there is the final journal. And you will receive the commendation, a storied crossing. Now we're going to finish up on the commendation, your boat. All you have to do for this commendation is row the rowboat that's in this cave out to sea a little bit. So jump in the rowboat and begin rowing. Once you've reached a significant way out of the cave, you will receive the commendation. With all of those commendations complete, you now have one left to do, which is Unto the Horizon, whereby you will have to repair your boat and set sail to the Sea of Thieves. Well, hopefully this video has helped you find your way through the maiden voyage and hit all the commendations you need. If you need anything else, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. I also stream regularly on Twitch, and if you do like this video, please feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so you know every time I post something new online. In the meantime, you take care, and I'll see you online. Cheers.